good morning and howdy y'all uh, look at my new hat look at that I had to run into McCoy's right there because all the piping and fittings and everything I bought for my RV toilet yesterday did not do the job all the way I got everything except the last fitting that connects the water valve in the toilet to the water line that goes to the main water supply the connection between the water line from the toilet to the main water supply needed a fitting that I did not have so I came into McCoy's this morning to get that and I meant to get a shutoff valve so if this ever happens again I can shut the water off to the toilet only and still have water in the rest of the house so after I end this video I'm gonna run back in there and get a shut off valve but anyway uh, I have no internet at all at home today so I'm gonna do my video while I'm in town and hopefully it'll load fast since I'm in town and you can have it within an hour or two it's not too long let me get my glasses and hat off I don't need those while I'm doing this I like wearing hats you know in the winter time I wear my cowboy hat all the time and uh, in summertime it's kind of too hot for a cowboy hat and my nice straw cowboy hat cost way too much to be wearing outside while I work every day all day long so uh, I don't wear one and my ball head gets sunburned over and over and over and over I don't understand why it doesn't tan like the rest of my body my face my arms my legs they don't ever sunburn they just get tan darker and darker and darker my ball head it keeps getting sunburned it's been sunburned probably 20 times this summer it'll burn it'll hurt it'll peel and then it'll start all over again over and over I don't understand why it doesn't tan like the rest of my body but it doesn't and I don't do baseball caps I've got probably 50 baseball caps I got a lot but they're all hot you know they don't have the mesh top like most of them or like they used to you know that kind of breathes and keeps your head cool in the summer I don't have but one or two like that and they're so worn out I don't hardly ever wear them but anyway let me get to the business here today and I haven't seen any comments that y'all left me last night so I apologize for that I will I have had no internet at home for oh gosh 12 12 to 18 hours or so something like that and so I'll try to look at all the comments and respond to them while I'm in town also but let me get to the business at hand I am gonna share the book of Ephesians with you and two uh, videos, one today and probably one tomorrow. And I've got my Bible. Look at this Bible I keep in the truck. Can you see that cover? It, the, the heat in the truck has like shriveled up the cover. The inside of it is still good. Look, see that? It's coming apart. The inside of it is still good. Nothing wrong with the inside of it, but the cover is coming apart. It's a cheap Bible. It's a King James thin line and I don't even see what kind of cover it has. Usually I buy leather and occasionally bonded leather but this one doesn't say what it is but this Bible just costs like 12 or $13 so I'm sure it's not leather or bonded. But anyway the inside's still good and that's all that matters. Ephesians chapter 1 Verse 1, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God to the saints which are at Ephesus and to the faithful in Christ Jesus, grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God and Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he hath chosen us in him, before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to 
the good pleasure of his will. That we should be that we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Christ and him whom ye also trusted after that you heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation and whom also after that ye believed you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praises of his glory wherefore I also after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the saints cease not to give thanks for you making mention of you and my prayers that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe according to the working of his mighty power according to the working of his mighty power I want to be sure you caught that which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his right hand in the heavenly places far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in the world but also in that which is to come and hath put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church which is his body the fullness of him that filleth all in all. Chapter 2 And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins wherein in times past ye walked according to the course of this world according to the prince of power of the air the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind and were by nature the children of wrath even as others but God who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us even when we were dead in sins hath quickened us together with Christ by grace ye are saved, and hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourself, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Wherefore remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh who were called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands that at the time ye were without Christ being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances for us to make for to make in himself of twain one new man so making peace and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross having slain the enmity thereby and came and preached peace to you which were afar off and to them that were nigh 
For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. And are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto a holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye also are builded together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. Chapter 3. For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles, if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given me to you, word, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in a few words, whereby when ye read ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, which is which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. Wherefore I was made a minister according to the gift of grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power. Unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ, and to make all men see what the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. Did you get that? To the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God according to the eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by faith in him. Wherefore I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with the fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us, unto him be the glory in the church by Christ Jesus, throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. And the Lord willing, I'll give you the rest of Ephesians tomorrow. Y'all be blessed. And I just remembered, I forgot to put the scripture references to my number one way I know for a fact that Satan uses to deceive people and draw them away from God. I will do that sometime today. First, I got to get the uh, plumbing in the RV fixed so I can have water again. After that, then I will go back and do that. And I will hopefully get this video uploaded while I'm still in town. Y'all behave, cuddle up close to God, listen to his still small voice if you don't know him. He is calling you, and I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Stop resisting, go running into his arms. He died for you. He paid the full price for salvation for you. Accept that free gift of love. You're saved by grace, through faith, 
out of works. The only works involved was taken care of by Jesus. I love y'all. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when I come back. Share my videos. The world needs Jesus. The world needs Jesus. So share my videos, please. And give me a thumbs up. Give me some comments. I will talk to y'all later.